Okay, hello everyone. So, last episode I went over how to pump lava uh, from whatever you find and store it in tanks. So now, as I said before, you have to have a proper place to store it other than my bat box, which is currently full because of this thing right here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a probably better way of storing it, which is an MFE. So, to make an MFE, it takes 4 diamonds, 32 redstone, 8 refined iron, and 4 copper cables. So, start off by making a machine block. Put dime, 4 diamonds in the middle, surround the diamonds with redstone, and what we're making is energy crystals. The energy crystals, I don't really know why, uh, but uh, if you, these are basically like batteries. If, uh, and they're only usable, I believe, between um, MFEs. I, I don't. You can't use them on a. Uh, you cannot use these energy crystals on a bat box. I'm not sure about an MFSU. Uh, so you just set them up with like this with four copper cables, and there you go. You have your MFE. But you cannot actually connect this to your machines because it will blow up. So what you're going to need to do is make a low voltage solar, no not solar panel, but uh, transformer. To do that, take four, four, pure, yeah, four pieces of wood, three copper, and two copper cables. And that's how you make a LV transformer. I'm going to need a little bit of wire uh, to do this. So here I go. So just pop off my, wait, yeah, yes, I was going to move this. Don't really need a generator anymore very much. So I'll just put this right here. I will then break that. Oh, I didn't like the sound of that creeper falling. But let's put the MFE up. And I'm really hoping I'm going to be able to wire this. So, yeah, it's not its not actually going to get a power yet. What am I thinking? And I'm just waiting for an explosion as soon as I, as soon as I pull this lever because I have it ready to start pumping. And wait for it. <laughs> Takes a little, a little while, I guess. I'm gonna back up. I just turn that off, and oh, looks like it's working. So to test that it's actually going directly into the bat box now in my little setup, uh, I'm going to try to extract some sticky resin. So now explaining how how when I was using the um, okay, good, it's working. Okay, I'm gonna take that out because it's kind of loud. But um, to explain how this worked. So, on the dot, the dot end of the MFE, I put into the three dot end of the LV transformer, and then you can attach from any side, any dot, like single dot side of the LV transformer and put it to the bat box. So, to explain this better, uh, any storage device like a MFSU, an MFE, or a bat box, they have one dot on, like on a side. That's the output. You can only attach stuff like, uh, like this. Like the, my whole setup is attached right here. There's a dot behind this. You can only attach that to the dot because that is the output. The input for uh, like the transformers are three dots. I'm guessing standing for uh, uh, HV, you know, high voltage, higher voltage, I guess. So that's you know a little bit of a thing. I don't like how that's kind of standing there. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make a drill as well as a bat pack to go along with the drill. So for this, since it requires a lot of batteries, I'm also going to show you how to make a project work table. It will take a little bit of wood, some three pieces of stone, and you have to make a crafting bench. And I'm just trying to do this from memory, so if I get this wrong, then I'll obviously check it up on uh, Tuning Items. I believe it's a chest, a crafting table, three pieces of stone, uh, and then four planks of wood. Yes, project table. So I'll just set, the, set this up right here. So what I'm doing is I'm getting this because I don't like making batteries. And I don't like having to keep going back and resetting the recipe. Even though batteries is not the hardest of all recipes. But you do use it every so often. I probably should do this for computer chips as well. But uh, So for the drill itself, which I'm probably just going to use this one for the drill. Uh, for the drill itself, it's going to take... I need my, I think I might have put it in, no I did not, I'm actually, where did I put it, <laughs> uh, oh here it is, refined iron, you need five pieces, well, six pieces because you also need a computer chip, so let's make a computer chip, 
Okay, so it will take a computer chip, five pieces of refined iron, and a rechargeable battery. The rechargeable battery, if it's full, will have the mining drill become full right as you get it. So this is basically like a iron pickaxe, but if you take three diamonds, you can upgrade it. Oops, I did not clicking on the right thing remotely. You can upgrade it to a diamond drill, which is just like a diamond pickaxe. So the next thing you can do is you can make a, it's called a bat pack. So I need you'll need six rechargeable batteries, and we're also going to need another piece of refined iron. make another computer chip. Ooh, it appears I'm also going to need some redstone and one piece of tin. I'll pick it up later. So it goes just like this. Well this is obviously the computer chip but uh, the bat pack itself goes like so. So this is something you could use to use some of the energy you might have now from the uh, lava if you actually do exactly like do follow exactly what I've done so I'm just gonna pump a little bit more lava in because I don't like having a bunch of just sitting energy in case I, I accidentally break the MFE oh I did not like the creeper sound I can't wait that was like the second time I've actually had the creeper sound but uh, yep so it fills up pretty quick it can hold 60, 60 I believe it's 60,000 volts or well, EU uh, anyhow so I'll just yeah show you this. It's really nice to have. It's just obviously it's just a drill. It's I don't know like a pickaxe, except it doesn't break if it runs out of power. Instead, you just you know it just mines really slow. So you, either way, you can just go to a uh, you can go to a bat box. I do not know why I just put that down, but uh, you can go over to a bat box and just fill it up by just putting it in the bat box in the top. See? And there you go. I just drained some power from the bat box and filled up the diamond drill. But it looks like my bat pack's done. So all you have to do is just wear it on the bat your back like you would any other armor. So I think that's about it for the episode. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Please comment, rate, subscribe. And also, if you have any suggestions for what you want me to do next, uh, just post in the comment section below. Bye!